Good morning, y'all. I'm out here this morning. Um, looks like I just rolled out of bed because, well, I pretty much did about an hour ago and I wanted to get this done before I get ready for work. So I was given these eight plants and I want to show you what they are, talk about them for a few minutes, and then I'm going to get them planted in the ground and then get ready for work. So these are called tea plants also known as the good luck plant or quarter line. I've got one, two, three there. And then I've got, let's see. Two, three, four, four here. So I must have four in the other pot too. We just dug them up from the ground that they were in and stuck them straight into these pots so they still have weeds and things on them. So anyway, back to the plant. So these plants, um, they're not native to America. They're native to Eastern Asia or the Pacific Islands and Australia. It's a perennial. It can be grown indoors or out. You'll see that it has pink like a fuchsia along the edge of the leaves now the more sun these get the brighter pink the leaves will get so this one didn't get a lot of sun and that's why it isn't the leaves aren't as pink as the stalk here now it does prefer temperatures above 60 degrees, whether you have it inside or out. And it likes a lot of water. You're gonna wanna water these in the morning so they don't grow mold on the leaves. These do get a, a flower on them. These will probably be pink to white or white to pink, however you wanna say it. Some do get a lavender and some do get a yellow flower. It likes well-drained soil, so you're going to want to have good drainage. And unfortunately, it is toxic to dogs and cats, so if that's a problem for you, you probably don't want to plant this. Now, if you need to, you can cut these back to about six inches from the soil level, and it'll come back. Normally, what you do is you, you'd cut it, and you would scrape off some of the outer a lot of this is already off as you can see and then you would you know whatever so i could cut the top of this off and stick it in the ground or in a pot and it'll it'll grow but anyway propagating is a whole nother topic and the cool thing about this plant is that it has long been or traditionally used to make hula skirts which I will not be modeling for you, but I'll show you a picture up on the screen. So anyway, I'm gonna get these in the ground. They've been out of the ground for three days in these little baskets, and I need to hurry up and get them in the ground before we get some bad weather. So thank you for watching, and let's get started.
going to put a bunch of rocks around it so that my chickens don't dig it up because they're really bad about digging in new dirt and they will dig it up. next week and put some weed barrier around this and kill all these weeds so that I don't have to rely on the weed guy to weed around this <laughs> so anyway I'm not too worried about the weeds for today I'm just pulling the bulk of them up Lemongrass is still doing well. Sounds like someone's pressure washing over there. But anyway, so I decided to keep one in a pot right here next to the Ru Ruelia. Let's see how it does in the pot. These are going to get afternoon sun here. You can see the sun up there. And these tree, my neighbor's trees 
that overhang will keep them all the morning sun pretty much away from them. They'll get some dappled sun kind of like shining on the lemongrass right now. So I still have these and I'm going to plant these on this side, but I have to go get ready for work. So this is going to have to be an evening project. Be back in a little bit. All right, so I've got that one potted on the far end. I've got that one planted. Got that one planted. And I got all three of these, well, more than three, but I got all of these planted. Now I ran into a pipe. Let's see, right about here, the pipe goes to there from my washing machine. So I had to keep them on that side or come further out and I decided to just keep them on that side. So now I'm going to put some weed barrier around all of these plants and then put some rocks on top. From this angle over here you really can't see see those very well but they're going to get bigger and you will be able to see them. They'll They'll get a lot bigger than that now that they're in a good place. And they'll kind of surround the pond. So let me go get some more rocks and some weed barrier and finish this project up. Okay, well this video wasn't really about how to place rocks and how to put down weed barriers, so I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to pick up some more rocks for my mom's. I have, I don't even know how many rocks to pick up. And this will keep the chickens from digging in it, see? <laughs> They're so nosy. And they have discovered they can drink out of the pond. So it looks like it's about to rain out here. Keep getting some pretty strong wind gusts. Um, thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.